floor. It is time now for better pets. So why is your pet so itchy? There's the normal scratchiness. <laughs> but when is it not normal? Stop scratching, Scott. <laughs> Here are some insight is our better vet, Dr. Andrea Dennis of the Bloomfield Animal Hospital. I know sometimes people have called you a dog, but really? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I always get nervous, like when my pets start itching, and I'm like, "Is this something that, uh, like, every now and then, I think they have an itch, like a human does?" Like, but do they, they get start... dandruff? They do get dandruff, and you know, think of the skin as your largest organ, and you have to take care of it. And I think sometimes people don't realize that itching is a sign of something. Okay. So. I don't expect people to be able to diagnose something like hypothyroidism or Cushing's disease. That's that's my job. Right. But if you can see something abnormal with the skin, the idea is to bring it to the attention of your veterinarian. So, go, I'm sorry. No, are the skin diseases that human gets the same kind of skin diseases that animals get? Very, gets? very similar. Okay. And we're going to go through some in, in uh, some of the slides. But what you would, should do is look at your pet's fur and also part the fur and look at the scalp. Look at the skin. You might see a sore. You might see a sore, you might see some redness, you might oh. see some flaking. Now this is relatively common. This is something called a hot spot. And do you see that red area? Yeah. Usually it's covered with fur, but the clue is, see all that wetness around that red area? Uh -huh. That's where the, the dog's been licking. They've okay. been licking it, and that's your sign. If you see something wet like that, and you see the dog turning, now it's your time to look at it. What's it from? Yeah, what causes Well, usually that? it's an irritation, and then they lick it to the point that's almost self-induced. They make, they're the ones that are making that sore even worse. So sometimes they get bite by an insect and then they just work at it. And this can be anywhere from four hours to 24 hours. Wow, and People that's... sometimes wake up and yeah. they find that. So that, you have to seek veterinary attention for that. All right. Okay. Taking a next look at our next picture. This is... Okay, so this is, um, you can see the pigment change. This is sort of the armpit of a dog. Okay. And you can also see the dog is overweight. Yeah. This is a picture of a dog that has low thyroid called hypothyroidism. So when I see something like that, even before it gets this bad, we do a blood test. And once we do a blood test, it's easy to treat. It's, it's like just like in people that, you know, people that are low thyroid. Right. right. They take Synthroid every day, inexpensive, relatively inexpensive, and it's treatable. But until you see the skin, you don't have you any know. clue that that's now, going is, on. Is that something that's uh, forever, a uh, medication yes. forever? Yeah, it's okay. something that they have to stay on. on. It's, it's uh, a hormone, basically. It's something that you're replacing what the body isn't making. But it can cause ear infections. It can cause obesity could even cause anemia and sometimes even seizures what if we notice thinning hair good point that's sometimes called alopecia mm. and now that's actually a cat and there are different types cats get all different um, types of dermatitis but that cat was actually just sort of um, it, it, it's a normal a neurological he was really working in one area and just continued and continued to make it so that was induced because of stress okay so that's where you have to be careful with with cats doing that thing and parasites do we have to worry about that too? Yes, yes, cats and dogs. So one of the dogs in particular tend to get demodex and sarcoptic mane. Now look at that dog's face. Very scaly. Oh. Now people don't really understand what mange is. Mange is caused by a mite and that little little creature yeah. in the left corner, that's microscopic. So you can't see it with the naked eye. The your veterinarian has to do a skin scraping. We look under the microscope and that's what scabies, uh -huh. sarcoptic mange, that is actually contagious to humans too. And how do you get rid of that? Easily treated with um, anti-parasitic drugs. Okay. Very easily treated in this day and age. All right. So, mm -hmm. And then you might have something on the dog's um, okay. paws or nose. When or... we're talking about skin, it <coughs> also includes the ears, the inside of the ears and the paws. Mm -hmm. That's called pododermatitis. There's actually a yeast infection in that. And people will ignore their dogs just actually licking at their feet. They think, oh, they're just cleaning their feet. But when you hear it at night, or same thing if you have your cats and you hear them licking at night when everyone's sleeping, that's usually a sign that I'm itchy take me to the veterinarian and let okay. me check it out. Not a normal grooming, because in my cats, this is a different right. area. Right, okay. but you can tell when it's different. And oh. cats in particular, sometimes they'll, you, when you look at their bellies, yeah. you'll see that there's okay. some hair loss. Or and then there's hair. something on the dog's nose we need to look out for? That's seborrhea, just like people get seborrhea. See those big flakes? 
And that's also very treatable. So again, we use um, shampoos and we'll use like um, um, uh, fatty acids that can be very helpful with it. We've got about a minute. We want to talk about New Orleans and Mardi Gras and things like that. Tell yeah. us a little bit about this. Well, you know, I was in um, New Orleans this weekend and then Fat Tuesday is coming up in a few days and there was the, the, the parade called Crew of Barkas and lots of parades, but of course I saw it had to do with a dog. And so I went down to Bourbon Street just to see what it was like and even though people are having a lot of fun, I, I was worried about the dogs. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and it was hot. It was like, now here's these little dogs and the theme was um, pirate. So these two little dogs were in shade, so they were a little bit better. But that's that brachycephalic. Look how hot that hot. Right. Sun. You said some of them. You said they were on the verge of dying. They, they were. I mean, you could see, look at the, the if the dog in that and behind um, in the background, yeah, the his tongue is actually dragging on the ground. And oh. people do not always have water. I was in someone's home, so I brought water out to the parade. And you stepped in and said something. Good. Yeah, you have Good to. for you. And the big dogs. The big dogs. Some people did eventually just pick them up out of the parade. This, they were in parading for three hours. Oh, it's so it's the, even though this is New Orleans, it's, it's a lesson for everyone because it's going to get warmer here. It's a yep. warm day right. today. So just be careful when you want to have fun with your pets. Make sure you're considering their health and well-being. All Thank right. You, as Dr. a reminder, Dennis, Dr. Dennis welcome. is the owner of the Bloomfield Animal Hospital on Old Windsor Road in Bloomfield. And on alternating Saturday afternoons from 2 to 3, she's taking your questions on Pet Talk on WTIC 1080. So tune in if you can. All right. Our next guest.